Hey, this is Eden Kai, and you're listening to Tadaima at Terry South's podcast. Aloha. Hey everyone, welcome to Tadaima at Terrace House Podcast, your weekly companion to your favorite show on Netflix. I'm Robert Scarpanino and I'm joined here by Daily Wilhelm. Konbanwa. Jack Cepeda. <laughs> I must say, what's up guys? <laughs> Colin Sparling. Hello everybody, hope you and yours are doing well. And the one, the only, Yusuke Aizawa, Eden Kai. Hello, welcome. Hey, what's up? How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. I'm I'm still starstruck. I'm being honest, man. Being on this <laughs> Skype call with you, it's crazy. That's, that's why I was giddy there because I just can't keep the uh, the joy from overflowing here. And so thank you for being on the show. This is awesome for yeah, us and you guys. Yeah, it's awesome for the fans to hear it too. So this is great. Yeah, it's awesome though. Thanks. Yeah. So we just have a couple questions for you, but you know, I mean, we're just gonna kind of keep things loose and have a little fun here. But I kind of wanted to start it off with a softball question here. Do you watch Terrace House still, or did you in the past at all? Um, I became a fan since I was on the show, and actually, uh, well, a little less I knew, I knew what was going on, but from uh, Kaluzawa, uh, when I was watching, I, I, I did not, you know, recognize her, never met the cast, mm-hmm. uh, besides Santa Son, so I enjoyed it a lot as a fan. Like oh. as a viewer, so but for the Tokyo one too, like I, I watched, you know, the first couple episodes, and was not really expecting mm. to be a part of it. So, yeah, it was a surprise for us when we saw you were on there. Um, but you mentioned the Kadoi's Aussies, and I'm curious, like, do you have any interesting hot takes, maybe that uh, that you're willing to share? Um, for Kadoi. Well, Kanoizo, I never been into the house or right. like, yeah. But as a fan, you know, I mean, what did you think of the season? My thoughts on the season, um, the house looks looks pretty big. <laughs> yeah, it was a giant. It's a giant house. It's a very nice house. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, hot topics. You said you um. Hey, you say you said you met Sanasan. Can you talk about that a little bit? I mean, she's really um a cool person to, you know, talk and um maybe if she kind of like, you know, gets a little bit tipsy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't believe you, man. I don't uh, believe it. Like, <laughs> but like, you know, like she's really a nice person and uh, as you guys probably know, the first time um uh, I've talked to her was you know, on the show uh from mm. Ohio State. Right. She visited the house. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. I guess. And, you know, um, I mean, never met the uh, uh, Noah son in person, but mm-hmm. I really wish uh, their happiness. Yeah. They are. They are still together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, yeah. and, and all the success, basically. Definitely. Yeah. Same here. Uh, so on our show, we often say that you know when you watch Terrace house especially when you don't know the people you everything you see about them on the show it's a very small part of who they really are as a person you know so i'm curious is there maybe something that you think that you wish the viewers knew about you that you don't think was conveyed well in aloha state well definitely depending on uh the situation and stuff but absolutely um i wanted people to know more of my fun parts as a human being, I think. Right on. Does anything specific jump to mind? Um, you know, just anything that's, you know, looks fun or, you know, um, how how I should explain this. Um, I just feel like I look too serious overall. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like looking at it, I mean, even like looking at myself, because like I, I do check myself, um, just to, like you know, see if I'm saying anything weird or creepy on, you know, the show. Just check what I say. <laughs> oh but, man, um, yeah, you can't take it back. Yeah, once it goes I, out there. Yeah, I mean, as as viewers, I don't think you were portrayed in that way. I mean, I I I think there was a fair share of scenes where like it, it seems like 
you were having like a very intense go of it. It wasn't really so much that like you were necessarily like always having fun, as you say. Um, so I, and that way I, I can definitely see what you're saying. Yeah. And that's the hard part, too, about it seems like reality TV is like you're there, you're being filmed at all times and you're trying to be as much of your normal self as possible. But you're always going to be kind of slave to the editing room and like what they decide to put out there. You know, so it's kind of like a framing function. Um, and, you know, just that balance, it sounds like. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Do you feel like if you would have been there longer, you would have like been able to show more of that side of yourself? Maybe, maybe. <laughs> um, but hopefully I could show more of my fun parts with all the fans and, you know, all the people uh, in the future, like close future. Yeah. yeah and i definitely think i think they're doing a good job of that already too with with uh i mean you being a guest on tokyo 2019 2020 uh i mean it, it definitely seems like you're it, you're just uh at least portrayed much more open you're just much more gallant and and just enjoying yourself more on screen if anything even in the short span that you were on the show and i think too it's been like what three four years roughly since aloha state so I'm sure, Yusuke, you've done a lot of growing up yourself. You've probably learned a lot about yourself. And I just want to say, this isn't even really a question, but like from seeing you on um, Tokyo 2019, 2020, it definitely seems like you're almost like a new person. Like I was actually like really pumping my fist um, for you when you were like showing initiative in the house and just seemed like you were, again, just more assertive and, and more mature. And it was really cool to see that growth. Really? Oh, wow. Thanks for the compliment. <laughs> You know, yeah. for real. Like, I mean, it's even on our show. Like, we've we've we have it out there on the internet. I've been like, yeah, you go, man. You go. You ask hard. You ask hard. God, I yeah, was cheering you on. Three years since uh, Lobo State. Mm-hmm. But uh, just one question: Have you guys like watched? Because <laughs> since, since it's not like out yet uh, outside of Japan, have you guys checked out like the part two? Yeah. So that's a good, that's a good question. So we Mm -hmm. are focused primarily on the international release schedule. So we just finished watching, um, episode 12 and we have to wait until Christmas Eve, uh, December 24th for part two to come out. So we haven't seen anything about part two yet. Um, there have been a little bit of spoilers out there, but we're trying to avoid them as much as possible. So we're really coming at this from just seeing part one so far. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and a lot of our audience, too, uh, does tend to watch ahead of us. Um, so a big reason why they do tend to listen to us is because they like to hear uh, like our predictions for what we, we will think will happen, even though they do know what happens, just because they like that sort of speculation. I think that's kind of a selling point for why some people listen to us. Mm-hmm. And I'm, I'm curious, did you... Okay, I'm just going to say this phrase here, Yusuke, and you tell me <laughs> the first word that comes to mind here, okay? Mm-hmm. Broccoli, pasta carbonara style well uh nuka right <laughs> <laughs> not well he he made it right but what uh, but there was a scene a very infamous scene in terrace house the the pink film i'm just curious if you did see that and what your thoughts are on that because i think westerners think very differently about that i was i was pretty shocked when I <laughs> watched it, because you're not the only one. Know, like to show allowed to, uh, you know, to show something like that. Yeah. Um. It it hasn't. It never happened like in a, in the past. So. Right. Yeah. yeah it's it, like oh, crazy. that that's cool. Like I mean, but you know, you guys know that they gonna on there that part. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure if they can on there on Japan TV, but. Yeah. When it, so what we talked about, too, is because uh, it wasn't that long ago that we ever actually covered that episode with that scene and everything. And one of the biggest things that we noticed was like it, it, it almost fell out of place in the way that they did the editing because we didn't even see the panel even acknowledge that that scene happened, which was really strange. Mm. Um, it was just like we were waiting to get their sort of commentary and how they felt about it. And it just kind of flew by. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and no I was wondering if anything. I was wondering if they aired that on tv in japan on fuji tv or if it was just netflix only scene or what the whole thing was that and, and if it was censored at all if it was on tv but it was uh it was very surprising for us to see for sure mm-hmm. um i think it's been a delay for fuji tv so they i think they recently started on airing like the whole entire series so mm-hmm. oh wait they're behind on fuji tv is what you're saying 
um well like netflix japan is like the fastest and yeah i see what you mean and, and, uh, and for free tv too like it really depends like where which part of japan you live uh tokyo maybe a little faster but if you live in like maybe uh in the tohoku area or kyushu area there's like a huge delay going on i heard i never yeah. watched like the tv series but um yeah okay. like, uh, or i don't know who knows yeah well so yeah you we know that you you travel around a lot you know while we were trying to organize this whole interview you know you've i think you've been to three different countries in the time we were <laughs> we were talking um so i was curious like do you you know in your travels do you keep in touch often with any of the terrace house alumni either from the season you were on or maybe others that you've met um some people but you know it's it's, it's pretty tough actually because like meeting up hanging out out those kinds of uh, for our little estate might be the toughest because mm. We all like are based on different places. If you know what I mean? Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. So mm -hmm. there's people who still lives in Hawaii, people outside of Hawaii, like mainland, uh, mm -hmm. Japan too. So I mean, I see Athian and uh, Eric pretty often. Uh, uh -huh. They're just like you know they they still live in they're still based in based on Hawaii. So, mm -hmm. but for other, yeah, it's it's kind of hard to you know plan out and yeah right yeah. everyone's got their own kind of schedule and you're super busy too and i mean i know you just had a show last night i think i think you have another show tomorrow as well so you're you know kind of sandwiching us in in between those two shows and so we know your work schedule is really hectic and it's a good thing to be right as busy as a musician so again just you know just want to tell you we try appreciate to you taking time yeah yeah, right? <laughs> yeah try but, to be busy yeah but yeah. we just really appreciate your time you know um because we know this is maybe like a day off for you here too so thank you oh, no, 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 no. thank you mm. so you know we've mentioned it before but you do show up in tokyo 2020 part one um i don't know how much you can say but yeah how did that kind of how did that kind of come about you know like did did you express interest that you wanted to be on or did they contact you maybe or were you just friends with kenny already Oh, no. So it really happened organically. I had a gig in a place called uh, Daika Yamaru, and one of the uh, performers were friends with um, the current cast. And, you know, I tend to perform, like, had a gig. I just casually had a gig there, and uh, they were, you know, at the place and just had a time to, like, you know, had a conversation. And, wow. Like, you, you, I mean, you guys watched yeah right yeah oh yeah so. right right i remember i is it the episode there is an episode where you do meet kenny at the show or kenny meets you rather um so was that the first time you guys have met period yes oh wow wow okay. that really is organic then that's more organic than i would even think that's pretty cool to hear um i remember they were saying yeah they were saying like oh we have a guitarist or something they were trying to like hide it wasn't like eating kai exactly but the camera showed a close-up of your hands playing guitar I was like, oh, that sounds pretty good. And then it zoomed out. I'm like, freaking need a guy. Awesome. Another fist, <laughs> another fist pump moment. We're like, oh, man, here we go. So I think uh, you were I think you were on the uke for that stage, if I remember correctly. But yeah. And then I think uh, guitar, guitar, guitar. OK, mm -hmm. I think. Um, but then Kenny and Haruka went out there and, um, you know, shook your hand and was, were talking to you and then invited you out to the house. Right. Mm. Yeah. 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 That was pretty cool. So I, I don't know how much you are friendly with kenny uh still from the show but i'm i i need to know do you know that he he has a short a minibus <laughs> <laughs> well yes after uh checking his posts yeah oh uh, okay <laughs> oh so you, you never saw it oh it? okay so he's never uh, you never seen it okay <laughs> we, we're just really curious to know what happened to that because like you pointed out on um, part one of Tokyo 2020 is that like they have this big, beautiful house that's really nice, but it's like, where's the bus the rest of the time? Yeah, we were hoping it'd be in the show more and we were hoping maybe you could tell us what it was like to be in the bus. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah cuz uh I they don't even like Kenny mentions it they they film his his pre-show interview before he was a cast member or before he came on the show and in the bus and outside of it uh, but beyond that you don't really hear about the bus again until he I think he shows uh Haruka or something on Instagram like a picture of it but otherwise like they never acknowledge it ever again for the rest of the series <laughs> doesn't look like it really exists <laughs> <laughs> well I've never, never seen the actual bus so, ah. so oh, maybe it man. doesn't I'm, exist I'm yeah. too, like, it's, <laughs> it's a myth nice yeah. hairy bus yeah text Kenny and be like hey man what happened to the bus yeah <laughs> get hey, in a music video bus? yeah get in a music video man. yeah there you go you could film a music video in it yeah e- Eden Kai official <laughs> you just had a music video come out right <clears throat> um that's uh that was like the project that I was you know I had for like over half years and Ooh. They're just Whoa. ones while like just released, but um, that's not that's like a song from the past. But I'm actually releasing a new single. Ooh! Uh, oh! Next year, like January first, and I work with it. Uh, work with this artist, Cat McDowell, uh, in LA. Hmm. We shot a music video too, and all it'll be on iTunes and Spotify. Right on. Dude, can we have a name for the song? It's Outside Inside. Outside, oh, Outside Inside. inside. Okay. Yeah, That's right on. the title. And uh, the whole concept was, you know, like I get treated a lot or I used to care a lot to get treated as like Japanese, Japanese and Hawaii. But whenever I go back to Japan, I get treated as a foreigner. You know, people think that I'm like a foreigner. So they talk to me in English. And oh, wow. I, I used to be pretty sensitive for like, you know, uh, I'd say sad or a little depressed about like, you know, how people treat me uh, in the past. But, you know, at the end of the day, we're just all human beings. So, you know, there's no need to care about it. You know, just be yourself. And the, the another singer, Kat, uh, she related to this too. So uh, we may end up you know, make a song about that. So, yeah, right no. on, man. Wow, I think that's cool. awesome. It, it's kind of like um, the way you describe it. It's like feeling like an outsider when you really are an insider, but no one knows it but you. Almost. Outsider, insider. Yeah. Concept. Cool. That's awesome. I think I think you have merch for that too, right? Didn't I see a shirt going around somewhere? <laughs> yes, on <laughs> online store. You didn't buy that store. Uh, there you go, Eden Kai dot store. Get yourself some Eden Kai merch, y'all. <laughs> Get on no. it. But I'm definitely very interested to hear that single because you know I grew up around a U.S. military family, like stationed in Korea. So you know, with that, there's so many cultures going around that it's kind of hard to figure out who feels at home and who doesn't. Mm-hmm. So you know, I think that's a that's a very awesome idea for a song. I love it. Yeah, I can definitely relate to that concept. I'm excited to hear it. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Outside, inside, January first, right? You okay? <laughs> Yes. Yep. All right. All right. You, you got your hype first. man here. Colin's yeah, yeah. gonna be on the track. He's gonna. No. Hey, I mean, full full disclosure. I actually really do like your music, especially your style of guitar playing. Uh, I was in a band for a while myself, and uh, I watched my friend grow from a very novice amateur guitar player into a very virtuosic guitar player. And I'm just I'm all about really complex and virtuosic guitar playing. And I think you're a great one, Yusuke. So thank you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah no problem, yeah. man. Yeah, your style reminds me a lot of uh, Andy McKee, which I love. So that's great. Well, he was he was the one, you know, he was the reason I started playing the guitar. So oh wow, mm-hmm. that's watched it all the YouTube videos that's like <laughs> online that him or uh, Mike Dells or Antoine Dufar. I don't know if you guys mm. have heard or uh, Mike like, Wes's or like Ewan Dobson. Do you know him? Yeah. Yeah, mm. yeah. I'm curious. Have you ever heard of a uh, Jose Gonzalez too? I'm not sure. So he I'm did a song so. that was on. He was he did a song that was on Red Dead Redemption. He did a song that was on. Um, I'm gonna forget the name of that game now. Uh, Never, the one with it's like the story one in in uh-huh. Northwest with the girls and, life and the murder. Life is strange. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. My goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for saving me. I need yeah. a life raft. I see. Uh, yeah. Right on, man. So, um, is there any uh, is there any guitar players that you're big into right now, though, that you're kind of like taking influence from? Guitar. I'm more um, trying to get in, 
get back or I actually started singing first when I was uh six around six or five uh sorry like by the way about my voice um sorry like I had a cold <laughs> it's time, all good so, man yeah like it's, it's pretty tough for me to just like have real conversation but um <laughs> it's always singing when I was season. uh little but uh I really got into like, instrumental while in Hawaii from around like 14 or something and I had my voice changed and I was busy with school stuff but I recently you know got back into singing like since I wrote that uh, song called Monogatari since mm. 18 and mm. now I'm trying to like sing more and more as much as possible so nowadays I'm more listening to like sing songs mm. oh right on so like singer songwriter type yeah like uh like mainstream pop or uh, R and B, hip hop. Nice, right on, man. It's fun for me to like you know create it, and hopefully create some lyrics that people can relate. Yeah, I'm I'm curious here. So, um, I mean, thanks again for coming on the show while you're sick too. Like, holy crap! Like, yeah, thanks. I mean, you could easily you know easily reschedule, but we appreciate you you know keeping the the time slot. But, um, I know that from some of your previous interviews in the past that your family kind of picked up and moved from Japan to Hawaii. I think around, you might've been 14 or so. I might be off by a little bit, but yes. I'm just, I'm just curious how much English did you actually know at that time when you were 14, uh, picking up, moving to another country because, you know, it's been said before, but I actually thought before you were a native English speaker, it's really interesting to hear that you're not because your pronunciation is so good. So I'm just curious, like how much did you know before, at that time? Yeah. Hmm. So my family is kind of uh, different or it's, it's pretty common <laughs> in, in the United States, but like, you know, for, for uh, that time in Japan, like a lot of my friends were, you know, a hundred percent like pure Japanese sure. people out there. So um, I'm not full Japanese. Do you guys knew about this, but uh, mm. my mom right. is from inner Mongolia. So, and my dad is from Portland, Oregon. And he's right. a Japanese American. And wow. they made Japan. And I was born and raised in Japan. So I've taught Japanese and mom talked something bad to me in Japanese. I said from my little sister. But for my dad, he talked to me in English. Oh. And I say something back or I, I reply something back in Japanese. But that kind of makes sense. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he un understood what I said, you know, in Japanese, but he then he says something in English. Does that kind of make sense? Yeah. So when you were younger, you could understand English, but was it maybe a little harder to speak it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And then when you were 14, like, were you really not using English at all? Did you have to learn, like, when you kind of landed in Hawaii? Mm -hmm. So wow. all of a sudden in Hawaii, and you know, they all have a, an accent called in Hawaii, too. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, I don't want to like sound like a racist or something, but like, <laughs> oh, bro, how's it? How's it the other day? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. That Hey, that's that's that Polynesian spirit. That's that that's that Pacific Islander in me, man. I got a little bit of that there. Did not um... understand a single word. Uh, so <laughs> I had a hard time, like, for the first couple of years because, you know, I tried to like under understand what they're saying and uh, i had to bring a dictionary with me for like the first couple of years and you know i wrote I, down like every single word like that, that wow. i understood and you know i researched it and just use it as much as possible well, it's a miracle so you don't have a hawaiian accent <laughs> from that experience right you have a very kind of uh, proper english accent <laughs> I'm not, I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm not just. I'm just not used to it. Um, mm. But I did not had a Japanese friend for like the first couple of years. Mm. So only hung out with uh, local people in Hawaii and for a while. And I was a senior for uh, Loha State. Right. 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 In yeah, you were school. a senior in high school, man. Yeah, and I think I you said in previous interviews that you were kind of like intimidated, right? Being an 18 year old in a house full of people that were like in their mid to, mid to late 20s, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. how can you not? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. 
was that your first time uh if i may ask was that your first time living like on your own yes oh wow Wow. that's gotta be really intimidating dude Mm -hmm. i mean yeah because i mean it's already you know crazy enough to live out on your own but then to be out like living on your own with other people much older than you also being broadcast on national tv (laughs) yeah (laughs) that's got to be a lot of pressure man i didn't know it was uh on netflix at first oh, oh you wow. didn't know it was on netflix right yeah it was like only for like Fuji tv but after like receiving you know some comments from uh foreigners and like receiving the english comment like i was kind of freaking out mm-hmm. um, i remember that moment so uh, yeah That's yeah crazy. that was pretty cool yeah and so i was uh so robert and i were actually in portland this past weekend do you make it out there Often? Not often, but I once had a performance at the uh, uh, PSU or oh. State University. Oh, I right on. Okay. For the uh, Japan event. So, yeah. Oh, oh wow. Cool. Even cooler. Yeah. Portland's a great city, man. And I can, I, it definitely is a far cry from uh, a Hawaiian accent out there. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you? Yeah. Do you have a favorite place that you've ever traveled to? Actually, there is a lot of place that I would love to visit in the future that mm-hmm. I've like never been. But maybe we'll favor it as like opportunity or like people I've been meeting recently, if that kind of makes sense. Mm. Uh, sure. So I'd say probably LA. LA, uh, nice. LA, LA is a big place, man. A Solid lot of choice. people. Solid choice. Uh, actually, yeah, it's. I was kind of freaking out uh, <laughs> the first time when I visited because you know, like all the celebrities, I guess mm-hmm. the celebrities or influencers, like they're all walking across the street, like just yeah, yeah, like nothing. So just meeting up and just you know having just talking with them about life or uh, anything you know as, mm. as it was huge for me mm. uh, and I ended up like going back learning something each time and I think I was 18 18 or 19 the first time and after after that I'm you know going back and forth since then and um, talking about that single that I'll be releasing on January 1st I'm having a single release party Oh, a release performance in LA. In LA, uh, it's El oh. Cafe. Uh, it's in Hollywood. Hmm. But yeah, I'm excited for that too. Awesome. But in Japan yeah. right now. Right, right. Uh, yeah. Going back and forth. So, I have a, a maybe a kind of fun question here. Y- you definitely have fans because you know Terrace House gives you huge a huge bump. We call it the Terrace House bump, and then also just as a musician, right? You know, there are people who like your music. I'm curious, would you ever consider dating a fan? Asking for a friend. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't get creepy till just then. <laughs> I, I do get that all the time. Yeah. Really, I think for me, it kind of depends like how we meet. I don't know about like straight up on DM. <laughs> straight up yeah. sliding in them DMs. <laughs> yeah. But um, it really depends, I think. But yeah. If so, I'd say, you know, even though um, Terror Styles is authentic and, uh, you know, I love what I'm doing like, with my music, too, I really appreciate her. You know, I want the person to accept who I am, mm-hmm. mm. like not as Yusuke from Terror Styles and not as like um, even Kai from like just music or on screen, but like just me as a person because mm. uh, me to everyone else and all the cats like all the human beings but like we are all you know just it's like another like we have emotions mm-hmm. right right we have some tough times uh you know sometimes like uh for the past it was pretty tough for me to stay positive on the positive side 24 7 but trying to be positive mm. yeah, yeah man but, uh, anyone who you know who understands that, that part of my side, um, yeah, I'm fine. I, I think guess it depends, but 
I think Yama dated a fan. I think he married a fan, didn't he? <laughs> like she was a fan of uh, Terrace House Yama, right? Oh, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. She's a pretty famous, well-known but actress. Yeah, yeah, she's got her own yeah. thing going on. Yeah. Yeah, I was yeah, super happy like- for him. For sure. Yeah, I never met him, but. <laughs> yeah, it, it it was so funny when they when every the rest of the hosts were just like railing on on Yama because they're like you're gonna go soft because you're getting married now or you are married, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they were giving him crap for about 15 minutes at the end of an episode. <laughs> I think it's I think it's interesting, Yusuke, to hear that you've never met the studio members, right? But um, they seem to like know a lot about you, right? Or at least what they see on Terrace House. It's kind of weird that it's, it's kind of interesting to hear it is. that it's really just more like a one-way communication, right? It's not like you guys have, you know, go out for happy hours or anything like that after the show. <laughs> <laughs> Though yeah. I'd love to see that. It's kind of weird, but I'd mm. love to, you know, meet them someday. Hmm. Someday. Awesome. I'm not sure awesome. when, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is it weird having, like, people that you don't know, you know, talk about you? that you know you you mentioned yourself like walking around in LA and seeing celebrities but like you're kind of celebrity like do you feel like you are or like is that weird um I I don't I'm not sure I don't really I really don't consider myself yet uh (laughs) yet but (laughs) yet (laughs) like yeah but um but definitely I'm not um in a positive way, I'm definitely not satisfied with what I'm doing right now. So I really want to push myself more. I respect that. Higher, uh, you know, for success and then, you know, like delivering uh, my music to more people on this mm-hmm. planet. So, yeah. yeah, man, I definitely subscribe to the stay hungry, never be satisfied, always keep going harder, you know? I mean, yeah, I got to say, too, you say that um, you I've seen some of the past interviews you've done as well, too. And we mentioned that, you know, after the show, you really kind of focused on your health and you wanted to become kind of the best version of yourself. And I just got to say, that's really inspiring to see. You know, I mean, I think you said you dropped something like 30, 35 pounds or something like that. Or he's crazy. Right now. 45. Wow. Oh, wow. wow. That, that is hard. Yeah. So it's 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 pretty cool. Uh is I never done stuff like this in the past. Mm-hmm. But um, C- congrats. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah, I've I've dropped a weight large amounts of weight too in the past and it just feels good, you know, to know that you can do it and set a goal. So I just want to say like thanks for doing that and it's kind of inspiring to see how, you know, some of the negative comments, some of the haters out there, the people that want to kind of disparage you, you you take that fuel and you use it to um, better yourself and you don't let it get you down so i think that's really cool mm. definitely definitely um because you know I, I used to care about that a lot uh probably you guys might have like seen that uh the other podcast too but um you know definitely now i have a thicker skin stronger mental with like mm-hmm. anything and you know i just want to face it you know mm-hmm. face the reality yeah. no more like you know running away from from the reality so yeah. All right. No, that's definitely very admirable. Yeah. It's interesting how, I mean, because we're content creators too, about, you know, we do a show about Terrace House. That's what Tadaima is. And it's like how one negative comment can really just like be something you remember and something that like really affects you like in that day, but then also moving forward. But then they can get 10 positive comments and they don't really quite have the same inverse effect. Right. It's just kind of crazy how that works. But it's always cool just to hear someone take that negative feedback and do something positive with it again. Mm-hmm. For sure. I'm trying to. Yeah. <laughs> it's always Fight the, the uphill good. struggle. Fight the good fight. Uh, yeah. Exactly. So there are rumors that say that um, the people that are in the house in Tokyo 2020 uh, don't stay in the house for the full week, every week that they're filming. And I was wondering if you can, if you have any insight in that or maybe could dispel those rumors. Yeah. Some people think that people don't live in the house and we're just curious to hear your take on that rumor. I, for like Tokyo, I'm I'm not sure about like me personally. I I did live like I live live. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I straight went to straight to school from there. Maybe have like a bunch of like four days. I it was like recording you know, an instrumental album that time. Uh, mm-hmm. 
that was a while ago, but and got back, you know, studied the house, and I mean, so yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure like what the others are yeah. going on. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah it seems like fair. it would be weird for people to become friends if they're not in the house actually living together too. You know, I think, I think those like Robert said, they're kind of unstamped unsubstantiated rumors and so i think you know want to kind of just put those to rest there maybe yeah. just people in tokyo are more busy right mm-hmm. yeah. maybe just simply i'm assuming <laughs> that's the case <laughs> yeah that's totally awesome. possible awesome definitely um, yeah cool thanks for sharing so we're curious uh your stage name is eden kai could you maybe illuminate us as to why it, why you chose eden kai why you settled on that name Oh, um, it's kind of long, but, um, sure. So, well, first of all, you know, like my, my, my real name, like Yusuke Aizawa, like when I say that to people, it, it's kind of, I feel like it's unmemorable. Mm-hmm. And a lot of, even like a lot of people in Y2 are uh, having a hard time pronouncing my name. Mm. So definitely memorable stage name is great. But I had the stage name for since I was 10 and 11. Wow. Oh, wow. 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 And um, nothing like religiously and stuff, but like just Eden is like Garden of Eden. I just wanted, you know, a place or a music. I wanted, I wanted to create a music that could make people happy. Mm-hmm. Just simply in a positive way. Uh, Kai is definitely not for uh, the ocean. I know like it's a pretty common name for uh, in Hawaii uh, from, from the ocean, but actually uh, it's, for my uh, inner Mongolia mom, oh. uh, I had that idea going on. So, what is it? The big, the big dipper or something like you know the oh, stars? The, yeah, the yeah, constellation, the constellation, yeah. yeah, the constellation. Yeah, yeah. So, wow. Uh, for my mom's hometown or her place, the brightest star is pronounced as Yukui, huh. and if I change that Kui to Japanese English is Kai. Wow. Cool. Didn't know that. Yeah, yeah that's definitely, definitely memorable. It's pretty different what people than what people like imagine or what people are assuming. Yeah, definitely. But it's still cool that you have that sort of story. It, you weren't just like sitting in school one day and you were like, man, that sounds cool. You actually have a, a story. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, yeah. Let's just roll some dice, throw some darts at a wall you know do the wu-tang clan name generator <laughs> yeah. classic yeah so the rest of the questions we have for you are kind of like maybe you know shorter fun ones which uh you know hopefully we can have a little bit of fun with them but what do you want for christmas this year man <laughs> hello oh i was kind of like thinking, oh. sorry, like, <laughs> thinking about it man no, <laughs> we're, we're the first per- people to ask him no one's asked him what he wants for christmas yet <laughs> he's got to put some thought into it <laughs> And we're not buying you anything, don't worry, but <laughs> Oh what? <laughs> yeah. We hope you like socks. <laughs> I love socks. Nice. Um, minion socks. Actually uh, I post about it, but I dressed up as a uh, minion like on the yellow estate Halloween party. Aww. Nice. <laughs> nice. Love it. I think I post about it like in the past. Um mm. Christmas like I've been just, just busy and busy by every day, and I'm having a gig or I'm having a performance in Tokyo on 23rd and 25th. Oh wow! Oh. I I just I was just like playing that up, so I never really had a time to think about the present for myself mm-hmm. this year. Oh, oh, maybe like a day <laughs> off. As yeah, some relaxation. Yeah, yeah. hammock time. That'd be great. That would be great. Just <laughs> day to yourself. A sleep in day or something. Yeah, you and Kenny exactly. on the hammock. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't, maybe maybe a new guitar. I don't I don't know if you have a, a, your eye on a new guitar or something. I would love to have Always. a new guitar. Mm. It, a, any new ukulele or it's free. Yeah. Do you have a preferred brand of guitar? I'm definitely now like dreaming to own an American guitar. Mm. Mm. So wow. the one I'm using currently using right now is an Irish guitar. Mm. Oh. About it, so okay. there's like higher sustain. So it's pretty 
definitely beautiful one finger style and stuff but i definitely want maybe like a louder u.s guitar to maybe sing along like you know martin or just anything like right could be would be pretty cool and right. someday someday or yeah one day, yeah. Maybe, maybe. Get it, yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Ooh, Throw it out there, yeah. Man. yeah. Eating Kai's it's, signature. It's pretty tough. It's pretty tough, you know. <laughs> yeah. One of my bigger companies, like you know, I have to like be big as Ed Sheeran or <laughs> so, yeah, someone I've, like I've that. Seen, you know, so. I've seen some pretty small, like relatively small bands, and their guitarists get sponsored uh, by like Paul Reed Smith or like Fender or something like that. Like relatively small bands, uh, so. Uh, I mean, I, it might yeah. not be too out, out there for you to get sponsored. I don't know about you guys, but when I think about a uke player, I think of Eden Kai. That's, I mean, I know I'm <laughs> like hardcore Terrace House fan, but <laughs> I can't. I couldn't name another uke player to you guys if I need if I had to. And you know, we're get yeah, no, for sure, man. And we're getting into also the busy season, right? Isn't the holidays in Japan at least very busy time for musicians? I mean, you've got that gig on Christmas, right? So this is kind of the mm-hmm. the heavy season, right? Definitely, definitely, it yeah. is. Yeah. You know, there, there's a lot of not just people uh, living in Tokyo, but also like tourists. Mm. Uh, I met, uh, I had a gig yesterday, and uh, this guy's from Germany and just visiting mm. randomly visiting Tokyo. So it's it's pretty crazy how many huh. people are visit Tokyo, you know, in general. Yeah. So trying to yeah. like schedule and like you know, set stuff up uh, yeah, for performances and stuff mm. yeah well hey man you're making money so that's that's good right that's yeah. always good it's not a bad thing um and with the year coming to a close i mean do you have any new year's resolutions in mind things you want to accomplish in 2020 mm, to pursue music more i like to mm. pursue music the music more what i love yeah, no, I think that's yeah, admirable. You just kind of keep chipping away, right? Yeah, keep on the grind, man. Yeah. We're here to cheer you on. Thank you. <laughs> for sure, for sure. You guys are awesome. Yes. Oh, thank you. Here, here's a fun question that I don't know why we have it, but we're going to ask. Uh, do you have any celebrity crushes? Oh, yeah, I want to know. I Well, now I really don't, but trying to think of if I had anyone that was younger like a little kid if it helps i can go first <laughs> oh. Jack, Jack sure go, go ahead go ahead he doesn't want my, to my, it's okay but, Kai. but then yusuke has to go after me is my i'll trade you so um my first one when i was a little kid little kid was ariel the little mermaid i don't give a fuck fuck everybody <laughs> <laughs> when i was in like sixth sixth grade or not sixth grade when i was six years old i was like the little mermaid because it's like the first girl you see in like a bikini top i don't know it was weird for me <laughs> <laughs> wow so there there we go awesome. yeah i don't know if i consider as crush but i mean i had like moments like oh she's really talented or Mm. because my parents love music and oh wait maybe one one time i just (laughs) had my what was like her name um sorry for taking you're we're waiting with bated breath here man we'll give you all the time (laughs) you need (laughs) (laughs) okay so i remember um i never talked about this on any podcast for sure like maybe like a lot of my friends doesn't even know about this too but oh i so my since my dad is from portland oregon i had a chance to you know go back and forth i never lived in oregon before but you know i Hmm. stayed only for like during summer break and stuff uh when i was attending um public schools in japan and i remember like i turned on the tv i was i think i was like six or something and there was, uh, do you guys remember the uh, the Pussycat Dolls? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. yes, I do. Yep. Yes, yep. I do. So, randomly, I saw their music video 
when I was six. So <laughs> that might be it. That, that was the moment. Like, that was yeah, the moment. That was, yeah, I think so. Wow. One magic moment. Which one on the Pussycat Dolls? Um, Remember what the she looked one like? That, uh, yeah, the song that someone was like featured. Uh, uh, not not featured. Buttons. Okay. Is that oh, the okay. title? Yeah, that's. I think that is the name of the song. So <laughs> it was the person singing it. Yeah, they had okay. like like this scene. They had a chair. I probably got to search it up after this. Nostalgia. I'm going to search it. I'm not lying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go check it out. Yeah, awesome, yeah, man. Yeah. Thanks for sharing. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, Eden Kai official. There's official seal of approval there. <laughs> um, so, you know, we've, we've talked a lot about your music, but you know, I'm curious if you have any other hobbies, maybe? Like, are you maybe a big movie person or video games, TV shows, anything like that? Well, I do love watching movies, but I'm just, you know, recently I haven't really catched up with uh, anything else. Um, I definitely want to watch the... Uh, Fantastic Beasts Two. I haven't checked it out. <laughs> yeah, was it was it good? Was it good? I I've heard very mixed opinions. Uh, yeah, yeah, some people said it. Uh, I think a, a lot of people are saying it's it's kind of mediocre. Uh, oh, he just fair. dashed all his hopes, man. Yeah, I know. No, sadly what are you enough, doing, man? I I know. I'm just saying. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. But so Yusuke, you should form your own opinion. You should see it and let it, let us know what you think. Hey, but, Yusuke, you, do me a favor when you do that. Have Lauren watch it with you this time, just like the first one. Uh, well, I don't know. She might be just too famous nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. No, but I mean, I have, she, she looks, she, you know, she looks pretty busy recently. And yeah, but yeah, it bring, brings back memories. So that'll be pretty funny. For sure. Uh, movies, well, now. But yeah, me too. Like, I haven't really catch up like when it, anything that's recent. But I used to read books a lot. Mm. What? Any particular series that are your favorites? Not any like specific series, but like books that's deep, like about life or uh, how to be a better human being. I used to read like all these like Japanese books uh, inside the train or something. Back well, then, but maybe I should restart like doing stuff like that. Now that shows because yeah. you already are a great human being. There you oh. go. Yeah, nice nice. guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, yeah, I definitely like reading a lot of like, um, like nonfiction and like self help books and stuff like that. I read a lot of that myself too. I'm not, a, I'm not a big uh, fiction guy either. Mm. Well, I mean, uh, uh, I love both. You know, b- both has like. Uh, the fun parts of like each side mm. yeah absolutely so, read books. so yusuke this reminds me as well too of a question that i wanted to ask you as well uh since we have you on the show so one of the things you said was that you really hope that some people get to know more of the fun sides of you right because maybe it didn't come through on the show and what was on aloha state and, and you know i think that you got branded it's fair to say is like hey the nice guy he's so nice he's so nice dot 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 you know all these things that people are saying i'm just curious do you ever get sick of people saying that you're nice like do you ever wish that you know that would end or you know do you embrace it do you how do you feel about just being kind of called the nice guy from Terra's house even years later how is that how does that go oh man um i really do want to yeah uh, i don't know like if i um no, I'm trying to like think what to say because if I say something, I'll okay. Hopefully, this is not too much of spoiler, but just watch part two when it comes out. Okay. All okay. right. And All right. That's it. All that's right. it for me. Okay. okay. That's not, I'll take that. That's not too much of a yeah. spoiler here for us. It gives us something yes, to look okay. forward to. Yeah. yeah absolutely. Yeah. And I hope. Uh, yeah. And we'll talk about it after that. 
<laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely. Now you're just you're just getting us more excited about part two, man. Yeah, we really want to see what's in store Seriously, for you. Seriously, that's a real teaser right there. That's like the stinger in the trailer for part two right there. Yusuke, I'm not a nice guy. Just wait till part two. <laughs> <laughs> the sequel. You just wait. <laughs> uh, oh man. So we, you know, we have your legacy from where you were on Terrace House with Aloha State. And but you're building this new legacy too of being you know a, a musician of your own. So maybe like 10, 20 years down the line, how do you want to be remembered by your fans? Well, definitely my final goal is music, mm. which yeah. nowadays people do. Some people do like became a fan of um, mine for music. Yeah, like although they never like watched a show before, and it's very surprising for me because you know I get feedback you know from the show all the time from people so you know i do really appreciate it but i mean although i'm i'm, I'm super happy when people tell me that you know they watch the show and but um at the end like the very end like the final i really want people to know me as from the music like know me from from the music and but also like i'm also doing um acting as a side job. Oh, you are. Personally. And uh, I don't know if you guys have watched the post, but um, there's an A-list actress in Japan called uh, Elisa Mizuki. Mm. Uh, and it's also on Fuji TV, but they shot in Hawaii. And mm. I acted on, uh, it's, it's like a, uh, a short TV drama series. They're not a reality show, but... I live in Hawaii right. and I also acted. That's probably coming up um, on the late during late December. Ooh. So I'm excited Ooh. for that too. But that's also one of my passions too, like to act or uh, to play a character. Do you nice. I'm curious, do you find yourself wanting to act more in the like do you want to be more popular with a Japanese audience or would you want to uh, more- Hollywood internationally I think okay interesting triple threat yeah <laughs> heck yeah hey, <laughs> hey Yusuke have you ever made your way out to either Seattle or Austin Texas just curious here I know you were in Cali recently so I do have friends on both places Ooh. oh I never nice I never you know received like the opportunity to fly there it might might be Close maybe someday soon. I met a uh, guy, a guy who's on this uh, YouTube channel, or who's a part of YouTube channel uh, called Cut. Mm-hmm. I don't know, like maybe if I there's like chance or opportunity, like I love to visit or someday. Yeah, awesome. Wait, yeah, if you ever have a show in either of those places, we will definitely help you promote that <laughs> yeah man yeah. you got yeah as of right now dude you got three friends in seattle and one friend in austin texas so uh if you awesome. ever make it out this way yeah you've got some uh local guides will take you out to the bars and have a good time <laughs> amazing yeah exactly and we'll make sure we bring a group of group of people to the show too of course mm. yeah <laughs> cool cool yeah awesome uh, i i think we've honestly we've gone through all the questions that we have written down here um I don't know. I mean, is there anything you say that you want our audience to know? Because right now, you know, a lot of our audience are Terrace House fans, but hardcore. You know, we, yeah, but we, but the whole reason we wanted to do this interview is because we wanted to dig deeper than the Yusuke from Terrace House. You know, we want to just get to know Yusuke. You know, mm-hmm. so is there anything that you want the fans to know here at this last moment here? Well, definitely, I just want to, you know, thank everyone. Uh, who start, you know, who supports me since the Terrace House on Lotus State Day. It definitely really changed my day because, you know, I wasn't in any agency or I was like a regular, you know, senior high school student at that time. Mm-hmm. And after looking back three years, like the matter of like how much of my part of my life changed and and yeah i mean it, it was pretty risky choice because i was you know still at the time thinking 
Did I attend college or not? And I ended up like not attending college and, you know, got straight into a music business. But after connecting with all the fans at my uh, gigs or performances, I really felt that, uh, you know, um, music is powerful. And, yeah. you know, I, I was super happy and blessed receiving all the positive DMs to like people, oh. you know, who um, has cancer and they have mm. like he or she is having the surgery pretty soon. But like after listening to your songs, it made me feel better or oh. made them feel better about wow. you know, them. And that really keeps me going. Oh, yeah. More songs and yeah, just anything that could, you know, make people smile and I'll hopefully I'll keep doing with this. And if possible, hopefully I could do this until, until, you know, my last day or until I die. Like, that's like, <laughs> that, this is what I love. Yeah. Do what you love. No, that's for sure. Awesome. So, that's awesome. Just thank you. Oh. Yeah, absolutely, okay. man. And just keep doing what you do. Yeah. No, sure. Thank you. Yeah, and thank you too, Yusuke, for doing this interview. Because you know, we we hope that much like how you hope that your music puts a smile on people's faces, we hope that the work that we do here at Tadaima puts a smile on people's faces, mm-hmm. right? And you know, we, we just hope that maybe this interview is one step in the right direction. So thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we know it's again you're putting this in between the day where you have a couple shows and you're not, you know, you're kind of under the weather too. So we just really again appreciate your time and. Hey, it sounds like, you know, there's some things to talk about and discuss in part two. And we still as a show haven't even really officially covered Aloha State yet either. So that's going to be upcoming. But, you know, definitely if uh, schedules permit and, you know, if, and if you got time, like we'd love to have you back on the show again at some point in the future here. For sure. Yeah. yeah thank you guys for having me. Awesome. Awesome. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you, Yusuke. Right. We really appreciate you, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Thank you. And that concludes the interview that we had with Yusuke Aizawa. Man, that was... Look, I still have chills uh, <laughs> tingling through my body. I mean, we learned a lot about the guy, and I'd like to think, you know, maybe there's some some questions there that maybe the answer's already out there, but I'd like to think we got some stuff that might be exclusive to, to Daima. And, you know, we look forward to, you know, after he dropped that dank nug about part two, I really look forward to seeing what's going to happen here in the coming weeks. And like I said, you know, if it makes sense and whenever we do get around to doing Aloha State, uh, we could have him back on the show. So this might not be the last time you uh, see uh, Yusuke come on. to You heard it here first. We have exclusive rights to Yusuke at all times. (laughs) He can only podcast with us now. We we wrote out a blood contract. He signed his name. You heard it in the interview. You know, it happened under the table. Exactly. Exactly. But uh, I will say, guys, we did our best. To like, I mean, this is a podcast for Terrace House fans by Terrace House fans. Yes. And we really did our best to try to come up with questions that you, t- you know, us as Terrace House fans and and maybe you guys out there would want to ask someone like Yusuke. Um, and so we think we think we got a pretty good wide range of questions, and we really got to know Yusuke Aizawa as a person. So that was our goal. Yes, yeah, guys, for sure. He's a great person. Um, if yeah. Uh, so I just want to say here at the end, I want to replug the things that he plugged. Uh. Eden Kai, Eden Kai dot store for all sorts of uh, Eden Kai merch if you're interested in that. And he's dropping a single January 1st, 2020. Keep an eye out for that on all your streaming platforms and all your Outside, music purchasing platforms. Inside. Inside. Hey, there you go. They're featured, like Jack and Colin are featured on the track, actually. No. No. Yeah, I do no, like no. this really cool rap breakdown. No. Stop. Oh, no. Nope. Do we know no. as, as, as guesting? Nope. <laughs> we'll, no. We'll work our way. We'll work our way up to Never. Um, <laughs> Never. But. Yeah, that's that's uh, if you want to go check out Eden Kai's stuff, you can find it there. And also, of course, all of his Instagram and Twitter accounts. But I'm sure you've already been following him on Instagram because, you know, it is. I don't know about you guys, but I'm going to go binge all of Aloha State now. I'm not going to bed. Yeah. Yep. All night. I think, Let's do it. I think I'm going to buy me an Eden Kai uh, T-shirt. 
Hey, all right, there you one go. of them. Okay, well, I yeah. guess there's four, four, we're three fanboys and a fangirl now at this point. There it is. <laughs> Um, yeah, and that, you know, but that's the thing, though, with with Tadai Ma, is that the the hype only goes up, because next week, guys, next week we're covering Ooh. Tokyo 2020 Part 2. Ow. That's happening. That's Part really two. happening. <gasps> part 2. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, oh. The Yule Tide runs thick. With Merry two Christmas. C's. Yes. Yes. Um, <laughs> so you've, you've probably noticed, yeah, we haven't been able to face. cover the Lost Tapes from Part 1. We're going to figure something out about that when we can. Um because you know a lot of a lot of cool stuff kind of came up if you haven't noticed right we uh, have an embarrassment of riches on this podcast there's too many good awesome badass shit to cover we'll figure something out guys give us yes. a break we're only we're only human please well i learned today that an embarrassment is a unit of measurement <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah so that that'll wrap us up here if you have any questions comments concerns anything that you want to reach out to us about please feel free to do that at questions at terracehousepodcast.com come well we will be back next tuesday with our very first episode of tokyo 2019 2020 part two get excited get hype this has been tadaima thanks for listening itekimasu We hope you enjoyed our show. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to ding that bell to receive notifications when we publish brand new content. Follow us on social media and check out our brand new Discord server, linked in the description below.